Derpers! Welcome back to Noobcraft. Before we do anything, I want to thank you from the deepest parts of my soul for the support. I was hoping to get 50 subs on the last episode and we got to 54. You are all amazing and your support is so appreciated. For this episode, I was wondering if we couldn't get some shares. I know it's a little unorthodox, but the best way for this and other episodes to get exposure is for you to share with your friends. Just tell them King of Derps requests their presence at this particular location. Honestly, though, thank you so much, Derpers. You are the best. Now, I really wanted to do a cool episode for you and build something neat. But time has been limited with work and life and such, and I don't have enough time to make any real content related to the building of Menzo Baranzen for you this particular episode. I do, however, have a segment provided for you by Dr. Derp. I know you've been anxiously awaiting his segment, and I see no reason to delay in getting it to you. So you go ahead and see what he has to say, and I'll keep grinding away at this mega dig. See you soon. Yep. Didn't work. Is this on? Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling Clementine. You were lost and gone forever, and your shoe was number nine. If you're looking for a different perspective, you won't want to miss this. It's time for Ask, Ask Dr. 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 Dirt. Dirt. Well, howdy there, crafters. How y'all doing? I'd like to make apologies to y'all for taking a month full of Sundays to get this here segment up and running. Things have been mighty strange around these parts recently. Now, I reckon y'all ain't here to be listening to me hemming and hawing about what may or may not be happening here in my neck of the woods. If you've been present in Walter's Discord channel, you likely saw that conversation he posted about my helping out round here, answering questions from folks like you about a good mix of topics. To that end, why don't you put on your sitting britches, come on inside, and sit with me a spell while I take a look at what we got here. Come on in. Just kick the dirt off your boots before you cross the threshold. We'll head on into my office and check out these here letters I found in the box. Hmm. Let's see what we have here. Ander Watts would like to know why the sky is blue. Because I mentioned it? Hmm, that's sort of smart. Let me do the asking for you. What else have we got here? Summerflower123 asks, what is the meaning of life? Indigo would like to know my opinion on the color yellow. And Meep Meep has several questions. Now there's a curious little varmint. Unfortunately, I don't have all the time in the world this time around, so I'll have to leave some of these questions for another day. With that said, let's get to imparting the Dr. Dirt wisdom, shall we? Here, Ender Watts asks, why is the sky blue? Now, I don't know where you'd be hanging your hat there, Ender Watts, but the sky changes colors here. Blue is definitely one of them colors. That only happens during the day and only if the sun is out. On cloudy days, the sky is more gray. At night, it's like a purpley black. If you get more grit and sense and head into the nether, the sky is all sorts of scary hues. Whew, I am not a fan of that place. In the end, it looks like there is no sky. Somehow those rocks are just a-floating all over the place. Hard to know which way is up or down. I reckon most folk prefer blue skies to other colors. I mean, blue is calming, even soothing, right? Could you imagine if the sky were yellow? Or pink? 
just doesn't seem right now, does it? Unless you're walking on a slant, I'm willing to bet my only wooden nickel that you're a fan of the blue too. We got another question from Summerflower123 who wants to know, what is the meaning of life? Folk much fuller betwixt the eyeballs than myself been pondering this question for what seems like forever. The question has flummoxed them all. Has anyone ever really given a proper response to this question? I don't know that it's ever happened. But you asked, and I promised to answer, so allow me to spin you a little yarn, hmm? Minecraft is a wondrous and mysterious place. Here we live our lives trying not to die, but I reckon inevitably everyone dirts or just loses their marbles and they die. No matter how you die, either from lava, putting your nose where it don't belong, taking bigger bites than you can chew, Forgetting to refill your bread basket. Reckoning you can fly without earning you an elytra. Mm. Putting a sharp stick in your eye. You always have the option of coming back. Aww. See that there respawn button? That there is what I mean. Click on that there button and poof, you live again. Now, as a doctor, I opine the reason for this is that we Minecrafters can learn lessons. If you died from lava, you might want to remember where that was and possibly prepare with better armor, tools, or potions to help you combat that lava. Or, following the KISS method, just keep it simple, stupid. Stay away from it in the first place. Every death gives you the option to try again. Approach the problem from a different way or ignore it all together. Hopefully, each death brings you closer to a place where you won't die at all. So I suppose the real meaning of life is to learn and to apply those lessons to the world around you, making you stronger and smarter or dumber. Not sure which, but you keep getting those chances in order to learn. Now, I hear tell there's a place where folk live only one single solitary life without a respawn button. And if you do it in this place, you're dead forever. Kind of like dropping your diamond sword in lava or throwing an item on a cactus. Gone. Not coming back. I don't know how I would live differently if that were a place where I came from. But if I dwell on it a spell, I feel like I would still answer the same that it's about learning. Only there you need to learn a little bit faster and apply your lessons a might bit sooner. I hope if you are from that place that you're on a multiplayer server with good companions helping you navigate. Now it looks like we've run out of piddling time for today. Now don't go getting your temper hotter than the goat's butt in the pepper patch. There will be more segments to answer your questions in future episodes. If you has questions you want to ask, just send them along. You can submit your questions by posting a comment below using the hashtag AskDrDirt. Tweet in a Twitter at WalterTube with hashtag AskDrDirt. Or you can post your question in the Eternal Dirt Discord AskDrDirt channel in the Minecraft section. I had a great time with you here today and I'd be a monkey's uncle if you didn't too but it's time for us to swap spit and hit the road. Enjoy hanging with Walter. I figure on seeing you again real soon. Wow, pretty insightful, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. I sure hope you submit more questions for Dr. Dirk because that was fun. I would love to see where this is going to go. Anyway, I'm still plugging away here and I'm going to continue to do so. Next time, we'll figure out how to do a gold farm and try to get some more planning marked out for future sites of farms and builds and other civil engineering related items. Anyway, off we go. See you later, y'all. Happy derping.